Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, I am going to show you what is coroutines in Kotlin or we can say how to use coroutines in Android. So coroutines are very important thing in Android and I am going to explain coroutines in the most easiest way ever. You have to just watch the video till end. So first of all, after watching today's video, you automatically understand the importance of Kotlin because we are working on main thread and there are lots of thread are present inside our android application and and if we done a lots of task on a main thread then our application is going to be crash so today's in today's video i'm going to show you how these things happen in real life projects and how you can avoid this by using coroutines and in java we have a sync task but a sync task contain lots of boilerplate code so what we can do we can use coroutines so first of all let's see a demo what i am saying so for this I have to open my phone so first of all this is the project which I want to show so this is the download user data it is a just a button and when I click on this button this this will run a loop 20 lakh times so this can done in 20 or 30 seconds but on the same time if I try to click on click here button it should increment the count variable but it will not going to increment because I implement the download user data button directly inside a main thread. So if one work currently in progress then it is not possible for main thread to do the second work and on that time our application is going to crash. So let's see. So you can see I click on download user data button and the loop is 20 lakhs time. So that's why you can see my phone get hanged and if I try to click on click here it is not responding and now it is responding. So you can see this is the same thing what I am saying why we have to use background task to upload to do the big network things like in background. So that's why on that time we have to use coroutine. So you can see if I continuously clicking on click here my application is not responding and this is not a good user experience. So let us suppose you are working on a project where you have to upload data on server you can see my application is not responding that's why because I because I set the all load on my main thread so you can see this thing is going to be done very smoothly with the help of coroutines when I show you the demo so this is just a demo so when you are working with the, in a back application when you have to upload we have to call network request from a request again and again when you have to upload user data again and again on that time you don't need to work on main thread it will it is not a good practice and you have to work on background thread so let's see how to solve this problem and what is coroutines so let's start the video and if you don't like the video then please like the video and if you don't subscribe our channel then please subscribe our channel so first of all i open my Anno studio so i open my Anno studio it automatically contain this project and this is the activity main xml file you can see what is it it contains this download user data button and a click here button then account variable and also a text view where I will show the loop and inside our main activity and in build or gradle module app I enable the data binding so and in main activity what I done I simply if someone click on click here then I have to simply implement the count variable and set it to our text view and if someone click on btn download then I simply call this function download user data and it will run this loop 20 lakh times in the main thread so that's why our app is crashing because one work is already in progress and I am trying to do the second work directly on the main thread. So how to solve this? For this we have to use coroutines. So first of all what is coroutine? Coroutine is not a different thread. Coroutine is just launch a scope in its own thread. Coroutine launch a scope in its own thread which behaves as a separate thread. So coroutine just launch a separate scope and it behaves as a separate thread and which contain its own so which works as independently from the main thread so this thing you can done with the help so everything you will going to understand with the help of an example when i will write the code and then i will show the working of the application so first of all for using coroutines you have to add dependency inside your bit.grid and module app so you can see i add this dependency kotlin x coroutines and write this one and you can also take this dependency from coroutines website or kotlin website now let's start writing the code so first of all i want to create this download user data button and what i want to do i want to call this function or we can say i want to run this progress in a separate thread not on the main thread so on that time what i can use here i can use here coroutines so for this what i have to do here instead of this run 
instead of this run what i have to type here with context you have to type here dispatchers dot main there are lots of scope in coroutines dispatchers dot main dispatchers dot io and now it is showing error because you can't use coroutine in a normal function you have to make your function suspend so when you type here suspend this error is going to be solved so you can see if you want to use coroutine if you want to perform a work with the help of coroutine in a separate thread or we can say in a separate scope then we have to then we have to make the function suspend and then we can then you can use the coroutines now you can't call the coroutine function directly you can see i am calling this function download user data but this function is now coroutine function and i can't call it directly so for this what i have to do i have to create a scope here if i want to call this so i have to type here coroutine scope and inside this you have to type here dispatches.io and then after this you have to launch this scope that's it and inside this you can call this function download user data and now you can see it is not showing anything any error and our application is now will run on the separate thread not on separate thread we can say in a separate scope so now let's run our application and see what changes we achieve by using this coroutine so for this i have to run my phone so now gradle build successful and it will going to install the application inside our phone so application installed successfully now just see if i click on download user data you can see this is running on that different scope and if i click on click here click here is also working fine so this is the benefit of using coroutines you can perform this you can achieve the same task using the async task which is present in java but you for this you have to write lots of boilerplate code so that's why i recommend you start moving on kotlin kotlin is very beautiful language and it contain lots of thing you can achieve very easily so you can see our application is working fine so i hope guys you understand the concept of coroutines why to use coroutines and what is the benefit of using coroutine and how to use coroutine so if you have any question if you have any query just comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video please subscribe the channel and let me know in comments whether you want this kind of videos or not in my channel so i hope guys you like this video thank you see you soon in next amazing video